YouTubers, thank you for joining me once again. I uh, got a little bit of an update on the uh, newly acquired 1999 uh, Mustang GT convertible, which, as I spin around here, you can see it in chrome yellow. I did an introductory video, video on this one some time ago, uh, a few weeks ago. Originally planned on tabling it and not doing any development on this one until I had some gotten on top of some of the other projects that I'm doing. But uh, due to back orders, uh, those projects are on indefinite hold until I get some parts in. So I went ahead and decided to commit some resources to this one, get it going. As you saw in the intro video, the knock problem is gone. And I want to give a special shout out to Geo at Ghost Town Performance. Uh, I will. Uh, Put some graphics down here that will uh, show the name of it. They're in Red Oak, Texas. They did an excellent job. Did an entire crank kit. So basically we're dealing with a new engine. The heads were flawless. They didn't need to be touched, but we've got a new crank, new pistons, new bearings everywhere, new gaskets, and uh, new timing components. So the engine is good to go, totally refreshed. Got some more stuff in uh, that I'm going to be working on today. Let me show you what we got. As you can see, I'm at my parts acquiring phase again. Got some secrets here. Finally managed to locate the needed tires for the upgrades because as you can see, I'm not exactly fond of these, these wheels and tires here. They're okay. They look nice, but they've got a little bit of road rash on them. And I really don't like the way that this uh, wheel tucks in there. So we're going with... Uh, 275 40s on the on the front and 315 35s on the rear took me forever to find these tires but i did finally locate a vendor that has some these are two of the four wheels that i've got right here and i will uh do a video after this one is complete uh this weekend i'm going to start working on this and if i can actually get um uh, some work done on it. I'm going to uh, show some swap outs on that, but I do have some parts arriving today. This box right here is a brand new set of uh, lowering springs. It should drop the uh, car about an inch and a half. See if we can get rid of some of this four wheel drive stuff that goes on with these cars. Uh, I also back here have a heated seat, uh, a heated seat kit for it because I do like my heated seats. This box here is a brand new back window. As you can see, this car has the typical issue with the back window that these cars of this vintage have. Uh, that box is a brand new back window we're going to do, as well as I've got some, uh, some uh, correction paint right here. We're going to start fixing this issue right here, which shouldn't be too big of a deal to color match that. I've got uh, the touch-up paint necessary to do that. And let's see, what else did I get uh, in addition to this? Uh, oh, stuff that will be here today. Okay, parts that I'm that are supposed to be arriving sometime today are the rear wheels that are that are not uh, stacked up there, as you can see. I also am going to be doing a Mach One grill delete, which uh, that is supposed to arrive today, as well as doing a uh, complete brake job on it with new rotors that are drilled and uh, uh, with new pads and everything, so so the, the brakes will be brand new. On the fence about painting the calipers, I like the look, but I also know how cliche that is. Uh, leave some comments down there in the bottom and let me know what you think about painted calipers, because that is something I'm considering as well. Uh, in addition to that, in a few days, I've got some new headlights coming because as you can see with these headlights here, they are quite crusted over and uh, faded and just not going to cut it. So I've got new headlights coming as well. Uh, I need to still get a uh, new third brake light on, on the way because this one's been baking in the sun for you know almost uh, 25 years and uh, it needs replacement as well. So the stuff that I've got in today so far... Uh, hopefully by the end of the day I'll have the wheels and tires, the brake components, and the Mach 1 grill delete. I've got headlights that will be here in a few days, and um, I need to order a third brake light uh, and other components. Now what I'm going to be doing also is I'm going to be stripping the interior out of the car, and I'm going to be cleaning up and shampooing the carpet, uh, scrubbing down all of the plastic components, getting those all good as new as well. So lots of work ahead of me. This is going to be going to be doing this, and I hope to post a, uh, another video of the project uh, and the actual work I'm doing in a few days. 
Well, I thought I'd finish this video up and uh, was in the middle of doing uh, mix downs and uploading it and something happened. My wheels and tires all came in and uh, I wanted to tag this on to the end of the video and show you what they look like. I just did a quick test fit to make sure they fit because I'm going with a much wider wheel and tire than was stock on it. Uh, they do fit wonderfully as advertised. Uh, so I wanted to show you what they look like. Of course, uh, I've still got to do the lowering springs and some other things, but I'm still missing some parts for that. Uh, so uh, I just thought I would let it ride on this. But uh, have a look at the wheels and tires. Tell me, tell me what you think. These are the uh, Copperhead Series bullets from American Muscle. They are 17 by 9 front, 17 by 10 and a half in the back. Uh, 275, 40, 17s on the front, Nitto G2s, and Nitto G2 315, 70, uh, excuse me, 315, 35, 17s on the rear. I think it makes a night and day difference on the car. Quite enthused with how these turned out. They got rid of that awful uh, inset gap that the uh, stock wheels leave on it, so looking much much better of course once I get it lowered down a little bit it'll even take on a little bit more uh, fun so I'm very happy with the way these turned out thanks for joining me uh, be sure and stay tuned for some uh, updates on this car as well as the other projects I have going uh, assuming I make it through all of these back ordered parts uh, appreciate you joining me be sure and hit like and subscribe and uh, leave me a comment uh, if you like and uh, look forward to it thanks Thank you.